Hello everybody and welcome to this microeconomic video on externalities. So firstly, what is an externality? Well, an externality is defined as being a benefit or cost, so something that's good or bad, which is external to the pricing mechanism. So this means that it is a knock-on effect of production or consumption. And these things affect third parties. And by third parties, I mean either one of two groups. I either mean private people, so either private individuals, so people like you and you or me, individuals, or private firms, so individual businesses, or society as a whole, so everybody in the whole of society. So, an externality is a benefit or cost, something that's good or bad, external to the pricing mechanism, so as a knock-on effect of production or consumption, which affects third parties, which can either be private firms, private individuals, or society as a whole. So next, let's look at external costs. And these are obviously going to be knock-on effects of production or consumption that are negative. They have a bad impact. So two examples here would be pollution or health issues. So for example, from smoking, you get things like lung cancer. And pollution, or number one in this case, it is a social external cost because when the air is polluted this air is breathed in by everybody so it has a negative impact on everybody in society so it is a social external cost also number one pollution is an external cost from production so factories when they produce goods they pollute they pollute carbon dioxide and things out of their huge factory chimneys so this is an external cost from production Next, health issues, number two. These can be private and social. So, for example, if we use the smoking idea, there will be private individual health issues because obviously if you smoke, you get things such as uh, more yellow teeth, you get lung cancer and other health problems. But also there will be social external costs. There will be social health problems because of passive smoking. So when you breathe out that smoke, this is inhaled by other people who also experience the health problems like lung cancer. And uh, health issues, number two, is an external cost from consumption. So when you consume a cigarette, when you use a cigarette, you then experience the external costs of it from consumption. Next, we move on to external benefits. So these will be something that is a knock-on effect of production or consumption, but is a good knock-on effect. It has benefits. It is advantageous. So an example here would be recycling waste, and vaccinations. So recycling re waste, our first one, is a social external benefit because if we recycle waste that means this is having a knock-on effect through the fact that there are now more uh, goods available to everybody else because we've recycled them. So therefore this is, a, this is beneficial to everybody so therefore it is a social external benefit. Vaccinations are also social external benefits because if you vaccinate someone, you prevent them getting the disease. So therefore, that's a private external benefit in that respect, but also it's a social external benefit because it prevents everybody else catching the disease as well. So everybody else in society benefits. Back to recycling. Recycling is an external benefit from both production and consumption. So when companies produce goods, they are likely to recycle some of the waste that they use, which is a, an external benefit, as we already discussed, from production, therefore. And also individuals, people like you and me, they will buy goods and then recycle things like the packaging from food, for example. So therefore, recycling waste is an external benefit from consuming a good as well. And number two, vaccinations. These have external benefits from consumption because when you consume that vaccination, when you are vaccinated, it then shows its external benefits by you not catching the disease and everybody else around you not catching the disease.